Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's do this morning update here on this Friday the 13th. We're staring down the barrel of the final atmospheric river surge with two different lows that will bring in this final packet of moisture. And then the flow will fade. We're going to see a huge transition in the pattern after that. Um, but we will see big totals out of this final surge. So we'll look at all that in the, the forecast uh, coming up. I want to show you, first off, this is water vapor satellite this morning. Reds and oranges are dry or so all the action. It's all piling up in the atmosphere with a big low right here. There's a, another area of low pressure that slid in right behind it. Those are the final two lows, and they're riding this Pineapple Express, and it's like a fire hose of moisture just shooting into the west. But they're both in training that moisture and bringing it in. Now behind it, I want to show you, so what's going to happen is there's going to be a high pressure ridge that starts to develop just like this, and it's going to protect a lot of the west, and there's going to be this big high that sets up. I'll look at that coming up in the, in the longer term extended forecast, but just so you understand, behind this, the pattern is going to shift dramatically. So this is the, uh, the GEFS model, the integrated vapor transport. We look at this to try to discern what's going to happen with the AR, and as you can see, it's going to drop off significantly. We're left with a weak to moderate atmospheric river through the 16th, 17th, and then it drops off into the non-AR category beyond that because the pattern's going to completely change. So the AR will drop off. In fact, here's why. Um, take a look at the jet pattern. On 122, it's ridging. There's higher pressures off the west coast. It's amplified to the north, and the storm track will shift to the Gulf of Alaska, B.C., maybe running through parts of the Pacific Northwest, Banff, Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado. Um, in fact, and let me just show you the longer term. This is the very end of January. Um, and So this is the middle of the atmosphere pressure anomalies. Um, when you look at the yellows and the oranges, um, big high pressure trying to set up higher pressures there through the Gulf of Alaska, BC, Alaska. That could easily spell a drier, a drier period for a lot of the West and the Pacific Northwest, maybe even parts of BC, with that pattern establishing itself. Um, some places might benefit from this, like maybe, maybe Banff, Montana, Wyoming, Colorado during the transition period, but. If this settles in, it's, it will probably lock the West into a drier slot, at least for a little while, before we shift back to the next pattern. But I just wanted you to be aware that that is that is in the forecast. All right, let's go back to the forecast radar and satellite. So here's Saturday morning at 6. Here comes the first of the second lows into California. Spread snow into the interior with nice totals. There's your second low hitting California. Here's Tuesday morning at 6. And that's pretty much it. Now the storm track shifts to the Pacific Northwest and the northern tier states into BC. And you can definitely see that happening. So there's that transition period that will, that will occur. All right, let's look at uh, forecast totals here. These are my forecast totals all of today through the 15th, another one to two feet for California, another foot in the Wasatch, and in Colorado, uh, another four to 12 with most of that being western slope and southwest Colorado. Northern New Mexico picks up four to eight in that period. Here's period two, the remainder of the big totals, another uh, potentially, oh, that's one three to 115. Here is 116 to 122. Um, so you're looking at just... Leftover moisture in California of potentially four to eight, maybe a leftover foot in Mammoth on the backside. But again, this takes us through the 22nd, potentially another foot in the Wasatch, another one to two feet in the Tetons because the pattern is going to shift to the Pacific Northwest and shoot that moisture down on a Northwest flow through Montana, Wyoming, and Idaho, potentially dropping into Colorado. So there will be some beneficiaries in the pattern transition. Um, and then Colorado, you're looking at uh, potentially 8 to maybe 12 inches of snow, 116 through 122. Um, let's make a stop in the uh, northeast here. So 5 to maybe 18 inches uh, through Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. A lot of that comes late in the period, 119, 120, 121, if that storm actually develops during that time frame. All right, guys, there you go. This was the, uh, the morning update on Friday the 13th. Uh, have a great day and a great weekend. Thanks for tuning in.